Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Koholimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechacha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to our Akim and Akhwa. That's all here, sincerely keep on the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I just wanted to get off into prayer um, because we're living in the last days. Prayer is highly, highly important on a day to day basis. But in these last days, we're definitely going to want to be on top of, you know, prayer, man, for real, for real. You know, whether it's fasting and praying uh, because the scriptures talks about this wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our times. And it's about to be some roughness coming along, man. So and we're going to need prayer like ever before. And we have to have, you know, when we pray to you. How about you? I was shy. We can't be double minded. According to James, book of James. You know, you don't want to be double minded when you pray. Hey, know that you have it, especially if it's if it's his will. That's what I wanted to go into because I was reading in uh, first John chapter three today. Let's go down here. Um, let's start at verse 22. It says, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments. Now, that's important, too. We're trying our hardest to, you know, keep, you know, to the best of our ability, keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And, and the scripture says that the uh, the commandments are not grievous, man. It's not grievous to not eat no damn pork. It's not grievous to not, you know, line your damn hair up or eat shrimp, crab, pork. And, you know, it's not grievous to try and keep the Shabbat, the Sabbath day to the best of your ability. You know, loving the brethren, man. You know, um just things we can do we can we can handle a lot of this stuff you know now we're not perfect we're not in the land of israel we don't have a temple and all this other stuff you know it's but we can we can handle a lot of this stuff but anyway it says and whatsoever we ask we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight so when we, you're keeping the commandments you're doing things that's, that's pleasing to the lord he knows that you're trying man that's pleasing to the lord okay it says and this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, and love one another as he gave us commandment. So first off, now you got a you got a camp that's out here, a real big camp. One of the one of the main camps of Israel, the purple and yellow guys. They just be saying most most high God in Christ. They don't call on the name of the Lord. Now they know the name. But what is this scripture right here just said? It says, and this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name. Of his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So that's important. You have to believe on that name. Yahweh Shai. That's his true name, man. There's no letter J's, no letter E, O, U, or V in the Hebrew alphabet, no letter O's. His name is not Yeshua and all these different names. His name is not Jesus, none of that. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Yahweh, which the world ignorantly calls Judah. And they ignorantly calls him Jesus because there's no letter J in Hebrew. The letter J was invented in 1524. About 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, of course, you know, that couldn't be his name. That's just common sense, right? So now let's continue on. Verse 24, it says, And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. See? So, hey, just that simple, keeping that, that one simple commandment and believing on the name, that's very important. Believing on the name, man. And our father name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. You have to know the true names of the father and son. Um, it's a scripture. Let me get this. I'll come back to this. Uh, What is that? Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist and who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou can't tell. See, that's very important. The true name of the father is Yahweh. Because you can't pray unless you know who you're praying to. You see? So you're praying to Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. I mean, you know, you, you hey, you're praying to Yahweh Shai as well. Because he's the mediator. But he's going to be the one that's in, you know, that's 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 in between us and Yahweh that's going to carry that message for, forth for us, man. You know, so let's go back. Right. Because I wanted to grab a few of these precepts right here. 
Now, that's a gang of them, too. So if you go off into 1 John 3 and 22, and, you know, if you got the blue letter, you go into the cross-references, man, it's like, whoo. Man, I don't even know how many it is right here. But we're going to run through some of them, man. If we can, I mean, we can just breeze through them. This is 1 John 5 and 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. So if it's his will, then he heareth us. You don't think that it's the Lord's will that you have faith? You don't think that it's the Lord's will that, you know, your, your hope is increased or you, you know, um, the Lord's will that, you know, you have food, clothing, you know, a, a, a roof over your head and, you know, transportation, you know, and getting around and doing what you have to do. You don't think that he knows that you need those things. That's his will. You know, he's not going to hold things back like that from you, man. I mean, he's our God. He's everything that we have. That's why we jump up in the morning. And, you know, I like to say it in the morning time, you know, first off, and, at, you know, night too. But um, the Lord's prayer, our father who are in heaven. Hey, that, that prayer right there, that carries, that carries a lot of weight, man. That, that boy goes through everything pretty much. Because really, you know, it's all about our daily bread while we're in this kingdom of the so-called white man. We, we're, you know, we're going to be wanting to pray to Yahweh, man. Lord, which way did we go? Lord, lead and guide us into, you know, um, you know, I like to pray on Proverbs 3 and 5 and 3 and 6. You see? Um... Help me, Yahweh, to lean not towards my own understanding and, 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 and to trust on you and help me to, um, you know, uh, acknowledge you in all my ways that my steps will be ordered by you. You know, simple stuff like that. That's his will. He's going to do that. We believe that. OK, so let's get another one. Pro um, Psalms 10 and 17. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble because we want to be humble. You got to stay humble, man. Because the Lord, he will exalt us. And, 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 you know, when it comes time to, to exalt us, if you're, 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 you know, of a lowly and contrite spirit. It says, thou will prepare thy, thou will prepare their heart. Thou will cause thine ear to hear. See? So if you're humble, the Lord is going to hear you, man. Psalms 30, they got 34 and 4. And they have 15 through 17. So let's get that. Let's see what it says. Verse four says, I sought the Lord, Yahweh, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. See, how do you sought the Lord? How do you? That means, you know, you're going after the Lord, so to speak. You know, how do you do that? You bring your petition before him. You're casting your cares um, 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 unto him. He know what you need. Verse 15, it says, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. See that? The face of the Lord is against them that do with evil, that do evil. So, so all that old, the Lord knows me and he knows my heart and you just out here being wicked as hell. The Lord not hearing you, man. And a lot of people that say that, they believe in um, idolatrous white Jesus anyway. The Lord is not dealing with no idol, man. The Lord is not some blonde haired, blue eyed, white guy named Jesus. For real. And the, and the father's name is not Jehovah. You see, let me get that back again. It says the eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth Whew. the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles, man. See that you crying out to the Lord, man. He's going to hear you, especially, you know, but what well, there's a prerequisite to that. You know, you got to do what he's he's asking you to do. You can't just be out here and be wicked as hell, man, and think that the Lord is just going to handle everything for you, man. You know, if anything, he's going to put you through some turmoil. He's going to send, you know, uh, allow Satan to tear your ass apart out here. Psalms 50 and 15, it says, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. See, the Lord said call on him in the day of trouble. That's his will. Right. Psalm 66 and 18, it says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So if you're regarding iniquity in your heart, the Lord is not hearing you, man. It's simple. But verily, Yahweh hath heard me. He hath attended to the voice of my prayer. So you don't want to be harboring um, iniquity, man. You know, iniquity is that sin upon sin. You want to constantly be asking Yahweh about Shemiah Shah for repentance as well. Because we are in these fleshly carnal bodies, man. We got Psalms 145, 18 and 19. Yahweh is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. See that? There's a prerequisite to that. In truth, you got to be calling upon him. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. See, these are things that we need to be concentrating on in these last days, man, because it's about to be some real wicked 
shit about to be out here, man. Proverbs 15 and 29, the Lord is far from the wicked. See that? But he heareth the prayers of the righteous. He heareth the prayer of the righteous, man. He's far from the wicked. So I'm telling you, you these Christians running around here, the Lord, he knows me. He know my heart. I'm already saved by grace. And you out here just being a damn weirdo. You out here, you into all kinds of demonic shit. The Lord ain't hearing you, man. The Lord is not hearing. It, 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 a lot of these so-called Christians, our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, they are in a real bad situation, man, because they believe white Jesus and already saved them. That's a dangerous spot to be in, man. Right? And we got Proverbs 28:9. I told you it was quite a few of them. But write them down, man, because these are beautiful scriptures, man, to um to exhort yourself, man. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So what what did the you know we just read in first John three to that you know you keep the commandments of the Lord and mainly you know those commandments is first of all believing on, on Yahweh Shai, his name, you know, and keeping the commandment of brotherly love and all this, you know, hey, you gotta move in the spirit, man. <laughs> hey, that's a cold one. It says he turneth away his ear from hearing he that turneth his way from he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law even his prayer shall be an abomination man isaiah 1 and 15 it says and when ye spread forth your hands i will hide my eyes eyes from you yea when ye make many prayers i will not hear your hands are full of blood so you you know and you know the scripture goes off into hating your brother is like being a murderer roughly paraphrasing you can't just be like, you got people out here talking about how they love the Lord, but they can't stand a mama, they can't stand a auntie, they can't stand a brother, they can't stand, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures that goes against that, right? We also have Isaiah 55, 6 and 7. It reads, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Now that's the perfect one right there too, because that's something that a lot of our people are not doing. You need, We need to be doing that right now. Seeking him while he may be found because there's going to come a point where he's not going to be be found. Right. You have. A, see, he's extending an open hand, open arms to you right now. You got to you got to make haste to to get down with this truth right now. It's like, you know, being in the stocks and you hearing about it. You're like, oh, man, I ain't never heard of that company before, man. And the person is telling you, look, man, this is about to be the next hottest thing. All you got to do is invest a hundred bucks and, and, and it's going to make you millions in the future. Then next thing you know, you didn't listen. And everybody around you that did listen, here they go. They living the life. And you you still stuck at your, your, your nine to five, man. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. Very important, man. We have to, you know, hey, you, that's why um, um, Romans 13 and 12, it says, um, come out of those works of darkness. Roughly paraphrasing. And put on the armor of light. Verse 11, it goes off into, um, uh, how is it worded? I'm on one to butcher it. Uh, uh, how is it worded? Um, basically, it goes off into the time that we're in right now. You know? So it goes off into, I'm trying to think how it's worded. I want to get it real quick, but I don't want to lose this spot right here. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's do this. Because I'm knowing exactly. Let's just pull up another Bible. That's we'll rock like that, right? This is um Romans chapter 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. See? And, and that's what we have to do. So let's go back and let's let's read that back again. Isaiah 55 and verse um, 6 and 7. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to Yahweh. And he will have mercy upon him and to our God. For he will abundantly pardon. See that? Not only will he pardon you, he's going to go above and beyond in pardoning you, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 12 and 13 it says then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you and ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart very important man and you can pray for even that Lord help me to search for you with all my heart 
The Lord is going to bring one of the men of the Lord upon, you know, be, be before you or you're going to see a video. He's going to give you some type of sign of some sort, you know, um, to, to get you what you need, man. Uh, Jeremiah 33 and three call call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. I used to, oh, that used to be one of my favorite scriptures. Now it's going into the New Testament. Matthew 7 and 7 and verse 8. Ask and it shall be given to given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Verse 8. For everyone, Salakia, for everyone, that's the Apostle Kabari, um, um, probably going live right now. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. See that? And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be open. And, and, and you know, this is according to his will. If it's something that's got to do with the will of the Lord, man, something that he wants already and you praying to him and you're reminding him, Lord, what well, you said this, because sometimes you have to remind the Lord of what he said. There's nothing wrong with, with reminding the Lord. Lord, you said this. I need this, 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 this and this. And if this is will and you, you know, you doing the best that you can in this truth, man. Hey, man, the Lord going to look out, man. Matthew chapter 21 and verse 22, it says, and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. That's why I wanted to go off into that. Um, matter of fact, let's go to this other Bible again and let's get that James. What is that? James one. Where it talks about uh, not um, wavering. It might be another one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here we go right here. Let's start at verse. Uh, five. If any of you would like wisdom, let him ask Yahweh, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith. That's the point that I wanted to make right there. You have to have faith. Nothing wavering. So you can't be wavering, man. You can't be back and forth like, oh, I don't know if he going, uh, he might. Nah, you got to believe that he's going to do it. So just pray and just, you know, kind of walk away, man, from it. Just, you know, just knowing with confidence the Lord is going to handle that because that's his will. It says, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. See, you're like a wave in a sea. You know, you ever see waves, you know, you look at TV or if you've never been to a beach, you look at TV and you see how those waves just be splashing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Roughness is flowing this way. It's going that way. You don't want to be like that, man. It says, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. See, you're not going to receive nothing from Yahweh by Shimei Shai if you are a doubtful, um, a double minded man, man. It says a double minded man. Um, matter of fact, uh, verse seven, for let that let me get verse seven again. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of Yahweh, of the Lord, man. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. See that? You can't be double minded in this prayer thing, man. So let's go back. Let's get, grab a few more. I'm not sure how many more it was. It, it's a few more. Let's just grab them all. We'll get them all. Uh, Mark 11 and 24. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. See that? Believe. That's, that's going off into not being double-minded. You don't want to be that wave splashing back and forth. You know, when you ask, know that you have it, man, and just wait. Patiently wait and you know Satan he gonna come along and try and doubt, uh, make you doubt But don't worry about that. You know, you keep on this is what the Lord said. See, that's what we that's what we have to do This is what the Lord said, man This is what the Lord said And you got these Christians man. They believe in um, you know that prosperity gospel and all that crap You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know being into this truth We really can't go before the Lord and and, and 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 you know, I hate to say it but use the example of a damn Christian man Use the example of a Christian because them Christians really believe when they pray for prosperity, they really have it. But we're not praying for prosperity. We're praying for the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, they, they, they talk, you know, we're speaking into existence. <laughs> you know, hey, we're praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, that his will be done because it's going to be done because it's his will. It's simple. Luke, uh, we have 11, 9 through 13. Let's get this. Verse 9, it says, and I say unto you, asking it ask okay it's pretty much um the same as um what was in matthew that was read but we can get it and i say unto you ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be open unto you 
For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? See? So, you know, because <laughs> humans are pretty damn. Hey, even even Esau, give um the, even Esau, the wicked man that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man, as wicked as he is, he showers his kids with, with all kinds of gifts, man, if they ask him. He do it just because. So what about the Lord? If the wicked can give good gifts, <laughs> what about the Lord, man? Uh, John 9 and 31. Now we know that Yahweh here is not sinners. See that? The Lord is not hearing you, man. You out here just bugging, man. You out here doing all kinds of weirdo shit. The Lord not hearing you. You can forget about it. It says, <laughs> now we know that, that Yahweh here is not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh, he doeth his will. Him he heareth, and doeth his will, him he heareth. See that? So there's a, 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 a stipulation. There's a difference. The Lord is not hearing no damn demons out here, man. He's not hearing you, 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 especially if you call on white Jesus anyway. You throw, you can forget about it. You can forget about it. The Lord is not not answering your prayer. Now, now Satan, Satan, hey, Satan will uh, give you a few things. He'll give you, throw you a few things. He told Yahusha that this world was his. He tried to offer Yahusha all kinds of stuff. But you don't want it from the left hand side, man. You want it from the right hand side. Okay, we got John 14 and 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. See, that, that, there's that name again. What's the name again? Yahusha. That will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. So those names are important, man. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, it don't matter what you call him. All right. John 15 and 7, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. So, hey, there you go. Another stipulation. If that word have to abide in you. This word is the stability. This wisdom is um, going to be the stability of our times, man. This is what's going to get us through what Yahweh told us. Holy Spirit bringing those things back to remembrance and letting us know, hey, look, all right. This is going on right here, but a hey, scripture should pop up in your head like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is what the Lord said. That word, man, it's, it's in you. It's embedded in you. That's why it's so important to read. You know, the scripture says, blesses the man that read. You want to be constantly filling up your tank, man. And then, you know, we do lessons and we, you know, we push it out. But you want to constantly be, you know, on full in the spirit, man, if you can. All right. Uh... We got um, John 16, 23, and 24. And in that day, ye shall ask, ask me nothing. Let me get that back. And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask in the Father, ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. So again, those names are important. Yahweh, why? Yahweh Shai. The Father's name is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahushai. You go to the father in the name of his son, Yahushai, man, and pray. It says, whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name, he will give it you. 20, um, verse 24. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. See that? James 1 and 5. That was the one I read earlier. If any man, um, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask Yahweh that give it to all men liberally and upbraid if not, and it shall be given him. But remember what it said. Don't be like the ways of the sea. Don't be doubtful. Don't be a double-minded man. Believe what you're asking for, man. James 5 and 16 is the last one. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. See, we're supposed to even pray for one another, not just ourselves, that ye may be healed. The effectual, check this out. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, man. So them prayers just blowing through. 
Them prayers is coming right to the Father's ear, man, through our our, 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 our Lord and Savior, our mediator, Yahweh Shai, man. So remember that, man. So I just wanted to touch on that. It was something that I was reading um earlier when I was studying. And, um, you know, it stuck. And just by the Spirit, you know, it pops back up. And here we go, man. So, you know, I pray that this lesson was edifying to you. Um, you know, you could go back and always rewind and write those scriptures down. And, you know, just it's they they, they, they definitely are exhorting, man. You know, you, you got something to fall back on. So with that, Kwame Inshallah.